Hello, this is Canon Gary Waddingham, and this is Holy Days on the High Plains. Today is the Feast of the Annunciation. Not all Holy Days are about specific saints. There are some other uh, enormous kinds of things that happen in the life of Christ that are their own Holy Days, the Transfiguration, and, and of course, uh, Easter and uh, the Nativity and uh, all of those kinds of things. But this is a special one called the Annunciation. That name is a little bit misleading in a sense when I think what this is really about. It's about the angel Gabriel shown here in the background an icon written by a friend of mine who is now gone, the Reverend Daphne Grimes. Gabriel comes and talks to Mary. The important thing about this, and it's of extraordinary importance, uh, is not just the announcement, but of course the angel comes to ask. Mary's will must coincide with the will of God, or this does not happen. Men, as far as we know, and women are the only creatures under God's heaven, although we may find out some other things a little disturbing about whales and stuff in the future, but are creatures that can posit an imaginary self in the future or a remembered past uh, of self, and so can, in fact, make decisions based on this. What would happen? Well, you can take your imagination and go those places. It's of extraordinary importance, really. There is no better, uh, it seems to me, um, uh, way of understanding this than to listen to a particular poem, one of my very favorite by W.H. Uh, Auden. It's an extraordinary poem. It's called uh, A Christmas Oratio. And uh, this part is called For the Time Being. And in this particular scene, we start with Mary, and then the protagonist becomes Gabriel. Here is what Mary uh, says. My flesh in terror and fire rejoices that the word who utters the world out of nothing is a pledge of his word to love her against her will and to turn her desperate longing to love should ask to wear me from now to their wedding day for an engagement ring. Gabriel then says, since Adam being free to choose, chose to imagine he was free to choose his own necessity, lost in his freedom, man pursues the shadow of his images. Today the unknown seeks the known. What I am willed to ask you, your own will has to answer. Child, it lies within your power of choosing to conceive the child who chooses you. The Feast of the Annunciation, a remembrance of what it is that Mary does for the entire world, the universe, for time itself, in this monumentous decision. And without her decision, would not have happened. Let's close with Compline for Thursday, a short version. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I'm hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine 
and oil increase. I will lie down in peace at once I fall asleep, for only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. A reading from Jeremiah. Yet you, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and sleep, we may rest in peace. The Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. God bless you this week, and may you have a blessed Holy Week, which will be coming up shortly. <laughs>